So in this chapter, uh, I will teach you how to generate an array filled with random numbers. Say there's a class called math. Let me say math. There's a class called math, which has a method called random. So let me compile and execute this Java C. Java C random numbers dot Java Java random numbers. So every time I execute this statement, you know what it is doing, it's generating a random double number. So this is all right if you want to create an array filled with random double numbers. So if we want to have a double array, so let's do that one. Let's create an what double array, say double random double array equal to new double let's say 10 let's say at that time you want to generate 10 random numbers so what i can do now same as usual as usual i can use the for loop so we created and we are going through a loop from i2 till its length and for every of uh, for every what uh, position every index value we are generating the random number and assigning it that varies ranges from 0 to 9 so let's print this one so this takes care of printing it so let's compile and execute this suppose if you want some numbers is all coming as 0 point something so if i want some numbers this side what i can do i can say uh, star probably hundred or thousand. Let's compile and execute again. Good enough. This is all right, but sometime I might want to have an what a uh, random integer array. So let me comment this out and again rewrite the program to generate an array filled with random integers. So this is another program for processing the array. So first I will create an integer array. So before this, I want to what? What are the random number is generating? I want to extract this integer out of that. So how do I do that? It is a println math dot random multiply by some hundred or thousand. If I cast it to int, then don't you think I'll get the integer out of that? Let's compile and execute this. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? I'm getting zero. So why we are getting zero when when we say math dot random star thousand some numbers are coming on the left side don't you think we should be getting the integers out of that so this kind of question would come in the interview they'll ask you to what write a statement like this and ask you to write the output of this program the reason why we are getting the output as zero is because the casting is happening first the the casting is happening first then the multiplication is happening why the braces always gets the is priority so the casting will happen first what is the casting math, math dot random generate zero point something it gets casted so we get zero multiplied by thousand anything is multiplied by with zero is always zero so what i'll do i want this multiplication to happen first so i'll put a parenthesis here so again let me go and compile this here Cool. we are getting a random three digit integer so this statement we can go and replace there to create an integer array so let me quickly add this for both the assigning filling the array with random integers and printing it so i created a uh, array called random array with the size 10 let's say 20 random array of i equal to instead of i plus 1 i copy this code from earlier program what i will do i'll add this code which generates the random integer then i am going through that array and doing the job of printing it so let's compile and execute this perfect so we have a println statement here so we are getting one line space there Perfect. So every time we execute, we are having an array filled with, we are having an array of size 20 filled with random numbers. And again, we are going through that array and printing its values.